What's up, everybody? Good to be back. Jason's here. Today, let's talk about how to set up LDAP server with the ASTAR S-Series VoIP PBX, as well as an IP phone. What is LDAP? Lightweight Directory Access Protocol. It's a client-server protocol for accessing a directory service. We can use it as a phone book on our PBX, and we will be able to visit the server via IP phones which have been registered on the PBX. In other words, we will be able to search a keyword directly on IP phones for contact information. The keyword could be a name, a mobile number, an email address, or any other significant word in the phone book. It is neither necessary nor available to download phone books on IP phones. In LDAP, directory entries are arranged in a tree diagram structure. In this structure, Base DN is the root node of the server. It specifies the LDAP search base, which indicates the location in the LDAP phone book. Phone books created in PBX servers as branch nodes and are considered as an organization unit which contain a bunch of contact entries. By default, LDAP server has been downloaded into Azure's PBX. We can find it in the main menu. First, Enable LDAP server and click on Save to run the server. Now, it's running. As for these blanks, usually we don't have to customize them. It's okay to leave them as default. Here, base DN, as we know, is the root node of the server. PBX DN is the default phone book including all extensions. These two values must be the same as that of base DN. Username and password will be used to log into the server. These two values in admin should also be consistent with that of base DN. In the list, there's an existing default phone book. Inside the directory, we can check information of our extensions, but we're not allowed to make any change here. If we want to edit the value, we need to go to extension setting page. Once changes in extension setting have taken effect, the information here will renew and synchronize automatically. What's more, we can create more phone books. Name the directory. Let's say this is a phone book for our contacts. The node will be generated automatically. Then, we can add contacts to it. For each contact, we can enter these values. Nickname. Well, the nickname or at least one piece of contact information is required. Now. We're going to add one user, Daisy. Currently, we have her mobile number. Well, it's okay to leave the rest empty. We can also export all phone books to a computer for reference or to use one file as a template. We could add phone books as well as contacts in this template, but we need to re-edit all values with UTF-8 encoding. Phone book nodes of different directories cannot be the same. Take an example. The default node of PBX directory is named PBX. Thus, other nodes are not allowed to be defined as PBX again. Then, import the file into PBX and all values will take effect. We can also edit the information in Notepad and save it with UTF-8 encoding. Requirements are the same as what we've just talked about. That was what we need to configure on our PBX. Now, let's enable LDAP server in IP phones. Configuration on IP phone will be different from phone to phone. Here's an example. First, enable LDAP server in directory. Then, fill in the related information of LDAP server. Enter these values as a starting point and adjust the filter. Display attributes according to personal needs. The filters help to filter all contacts in LDAP server and finally display those contacts who satisfy the conditions. In the name filter, CN refers to the first name and SN refers to the last name. With this filter, we can enter first name or last name on the IP phone to search for the corresponding contacts. In number filter, mobile refers to the mobile number, telephone number is the office number and home phone means home phone number. With the number filter, 
We will be able to enter a number on the IP phone to search for the corresponding contacts either. In server address, enter the IP address of our PBX and also base, username, as well as password. Directly enter the default values on PBX. The attributes decide the searching results presented to us. According to the settings here, when we search a mobile number and email address, then we'll be able to search for contacts in LDAP server from IP phone's directory. Additionally, we can also configure DSS key to look up contacts through it. We could find LDAP server by directory or press DSS key to access it directly. Okay guys, that was how we set LDP server with our PBX and IP phone. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video. Hopefully this one really helps. So don't forget to subscribe our channel. And I will see you guys in the next one.